All right, I'm gonna show you how to do this question in two ways, okay? The one way, the first way is probably the best way if you are super confident in algebra, but if you are not that great at math, if you are not that good at algebra, you can still get this question right. It'll be a little bit more time consuming, but it's worth it to spend the time here and get this right rather than rush through everything else and make too many mistakes in the hard questions and a question like this. So if we're solving with algebra, we just need to know how to get C alone, right? The answer choices tell us to do that. The question tells us to do that. So we would need to manipulate this equation. So let me write it down here first. So P is equal to N times 19 minus C. So just focusing in on that, what I would do is I would first get the N away. Some of you are gonna distribute, but I would say the point is work from the outside in, right? Strip things away, and so don't, don't mix stuff together on the, on the right side there. Get it out of there if we can. So that leaves us with P over N is equal to 19 minus C. Then if we wanna get C alone, our habit should be, okay, let's minus 19, and we can do that, but I mean, I'll put it over here actually. You can see that what ends up happening is we end up with kind of this messy, negative C on the right side, okay? So this might set us up for kind of a mistake. Let me see here. Um, yeah, I don't know, maybe not, but I would worry about there being a mistake if we kind of forgot that C is technically still not alone, right? It needs to be negated. So what we could do is just multiply this entire equation by negative one, right? So that's gonna flip the sign of everything. So that would be 19 minus P over N equals now positive C. And so there we go, that is an answer choice and that is the correct answer, okay? So um, if you're not comfortable with algebra, there's probably a couple things I did there that would have bothered you. One of them, again, is that your habit might be to distribute that N because that's kind of just like a very simple move and your teachers probably are like, oh, when you have parentheses, distribute. So you might've just done that out of habit. But also dealing with that negative can be really annoying. And for some reason, lots of people don't like having the C alone on the right side. That's a really bad habit and a very dumb way to think about algebra, that we need to have C equals on the left side. It doesn't matter. You just, wherever it is, if it's alone, it's alone, and then you've solved it, right? Because the C being on the left and the right is the same. So you gotta break that habit. That's a, that's a big sign that you are not comfortable with algebra. If, for, for if this version of the solution bothers you, you are not good at algebra which means you should use this other strategy, right? So here's what we're gonna do. We're going to arithmetize, because in this case, we can't really plug this into Desmos easily because there are three variables. If there was just two, we could pretend they were X and Y, and we could kind of use that to our advantage. But here we would need to use the fact that there are three, or we would need to deal with the fact that there are three, and the, only, the best way to deal with that is to get rid of them entirely and just make up some numbers, right? So I'm gonna say that N is equal to two and C is equal to one. And what that's gonna let me do is solve this original equation, right? So P, I'm gonna put it down here, is now gonna be uh, N, well that's two, times 19 minus one. Okay, well now this is just arithmetic, right? So two times 18 is 36. So now I have values for N, C, and P. And I'm gonna use those values to see which of the answer choices is gonna give me the same thing that I wanted, right? So it's going to, I'm just gonna use the numbers that I have and I'm gonna try them in all these answers. If I go to choice A, I would have 19, P we said is 36, and N is two. So you might already know this is not gonna get me one, right? Because that's what we want. We want to make these equations equal to one because that's what C is, right? So, okay, I would get my calculator if I really wasn't sure. 19 plus 36 is 55 divided by two is 27.5. So that's how we know with arithmetize that this is wrong. Because if they're supposed to be equivalent equations, when we put the same numbers into equivalent equations, we should get equivalent numbers out, right? We should get the same results, but that's not happening here. We're being told now that C is 27.5 when we know C is supposed to be one. So all I have to do is check all the answer choices and eventually one will work. So let's see what we get with choice B. That's gonna be 19 minus 36 over two. Well, that's a negative number. I don't even need to do it to know that's not gonna work because 19 minus 36 is negative, so it doesn't work. This is gonna be 19 plus, we said P is 36 and N is two, right? So, okay, that's 19 plus 18. And again, too big, right? It needs to be one, so we're not quite there, but we can see if it's too big, it's because we're adding. And maybe if we subtract 36 over two is 19 minus 18, we get the one that we were looking for. 
So yes, this is more time consuming, I think, but you have to decide what kind of math student you are. If you are really confident in algebra and you feel like you solve things very correctly, uh, very often, then you're good to just do algebra here. But if you have been doing practice for the SAT, doing your schoolwork, and you find that you get stuff like this wrong, then no excuses. You got to do the arithmetize. You got to play it safe because this is a controllable question. I'd rather you spend twice as long getting this right than getting it wrong and then rushing to get to other hard questions that you're going to get wrong anyway as well. So you got to just maximize the score. You really need to make sure you're, if you can, not getting placed in the easy module. So this is a good example of a question where lock it in, lock these points in, and then, yeah, you might have to skip around some of the hard ones, but you've at least gotten these kind of medium difficulty questions correct.